Hey guys, David from the Trade Study here. I wanted to talk about specifically the income estimator tool provided by TD Ameritrade. What exactly is this kind of tool? Um, it pretty much estimates the income that you're going to be receiving from your investment, specifically dividend payouts. And the reason why I'm showing this and why I show this with uh, members that decide to um, sign up for my course and, and uh, receive that uh, learning experience is that you know we are in an environment where low interest rates are pretty much here to stay as stated by the Fed chair earlier in the year until 2023 maybe we might see some adjustments uh, by then um, but in this environment savings accounts uh, certificates of deposit um, you go on so forth and they're, they're not generating much return so what you do is you can take advantage of the stock market with safe investments and put your money bits and pieces of it very much like a retirement portfolio that you'll do with your company 401k 403b and having that ownership in the company they will provide you a dividend uh, for holding on to that share and being a shareholder in the company. So what's pretty cool is that when you go onto the website, you'll select the planning and retirement, and you're going to go up here, and we go down to the income estimator. This will be the tool. It's going to pull it up here. Let's bring this up. So we have the income estimator selected. Now with these, uh, you, if you have watch lists, um, you could pull that up and you'll have an idea of how much income you can expect. What I want to show you is that you don't need to have a portfolio to use this tool. You can actually theory craft or come up with some ideas. So let's say I uh, have about um, $10,000 aside uh, that I want to set up right and divide that. Um, chipping in every month or so, 10,000 divided by 12. I'm going to be chipping in about close to $833 um, per month and to the account. All right, that's good. Maybe I want to split that between uh, four investments, right? So that 10,000 at the end of your year is going to be about $2,500 going toward uh, your four investments. These are going to be your core positions that you want to build up and collect a dividend payout from this just so that you can get a little bit of income uh, from the side uh, and, you know, making up for that income that you're not getting from your savings and CDs and other vehicles that used to provide some return. Um, not doing so hot this this uh, time around of the season. So let's try an example here. I'm gonna put together. I got um, let's say Disney. Oh, you know what? All right, let's, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Uh, McDonald's, right? I'm gonna add a little bit of McDonald's to my uh, portfolio. Okay. Um, the default it puts a hundred. We're not done here. Hold on. We're gonna add a couple more companies. Uh, how about telecommunications? I'm thinking Verizon or AT&T. Let's do um, AT&T for now. Okay. And then I am looking at, let's say, uh, Starbucks, right? You know, coffee, why not? Okay. And then let's say um, a uh, real estate investment vehicle, let's say a, a real estate um, investment trust, a REIT. So I'm going to pick medical properties trust which has um, hospitals together that are um, oh whoops there we go MPW so these guys make money off rent from hospital systems and uh, so let's see here so we have uh, righty now we have to make it so that we are chipping in about how this will look over a year's course, right? 
Let's see if we can get these quantities to actually equal up to our 10,000 of our total market value. So how we do that, that's going to be by the share price. It's a little bit closer. Uh, McDonald's is a little... Yeah, all right, here we go. Because what did we calculate? We're going to do about 2,500 divided by these four positions. Again, this is not any recommendation or such. This is just for examples um, to show you guys how the income estimator works and why it's such a good idea to start thinking about this and getting the ball rolling. Um, there's many companies you can get into using this tool. So it's 2,500 for each. So, okay. Alrighty, so this is going to be, sorry, 12, this is going to be 50, the Starbucks came out okay, the MPW is going to have to be about 125, and then the AT&T is actually going to have to be about, All right, uh, more or less within the ballpark here. So we came out to about, ideally we wanted to get about 2,500 each. We have our uh, real estate trust play here that we're sitting on that pays about a dividend yield of 5.5%. That's incredible. That's uh, beating out most of these, um, you know, savings accounts by far. Even Starbucks with a low 1.82 percent. The thing is, as the Starbucks share price does appreciate, you also are collecting that appreciation. The same can be said for these other companies as well. Now, when you look at the AT&T, they're uh, dangerously high right now, given to uh, the market conditions that we're in. Ideally, you want to aim for something healthy, 3 to 5% dividend yield, because a high dividend yield can indicate that a share price of the company may be rapidly falling, therefore creating risk. Um, and the risk is that you could fear a dividend cut or a dividend suspension, where then you won't be receiving those dividend payments anymore for your um, uh, shares that you're holding on to the company. And when you look at the estimated annual income that you're getting from each company for just holding about twenty five hundred, you're getting about one hundred thirty five dollars estimated annual income from holding this uh, REIT. Then your telecommunications are paying you about one hundred sixty six dollars with forty cents. And then your coffee play here is paying you about forty five dollars over the year. And then your McDonald's, your fast food. Uh, exposure is going to be about close to $62 that you're paying, uh, that you're receiving. I apologize for that. And you get about $408.32 over uh, the year. Now, the cool part about this is with these investments, you usually want to sit on them, let them grow over time. There may be uh, market events that, yeah, uh, may cause the stock to be uh, reaching a point where you need to close the position or some sort of event, but those, are, those events are very rare. The idea is that you sit on these and let's say once you get to year five with these investments, right? So you do 125 times five. So this is going to be 6. This is with the assumption that the share price doesn't change, by the way. So the calculation may be off by a bit. But let's say the share price doesn't move within 5 years, right? And it stays stagnant. 625. And then you have 80 times 5. This is going to be by year 5. You have about 400 shares in your telecommunications with AT&T. Then you would have about 125 here in Starbucks and then you would have about 60 in McDonald's now let's see how that will look by year five by year five you're already making about 
two thousand dollars and forty one uh dollars i'm sorry two thousand forty one dollars with sixty cents um just from dividends and this turns into ten thousand right about fifty thousand of your money in the stock market in these companies um your estimated average monthly income would look like this about 170 dollars for with 13 cents that's take home money that you can have with you and you have about a yield of four percent which is pretty fantastic this is money that you can take home and you can also see the breakdown that december uh by month by month by month how much you are estimated to get from just dividend accounts not taking into consideration any stock appreciation or increase in the stock price so what does that mean that means that if uh, Starbucks is at eighty dollars per share if eighty your Starbucks is at a uh, hundred and sixty dollars share this would double up right here your twelve thousand would be about worth twenty four thousand market value that's what that means plus you're still collecting that dividend which is pretty cool um, so that's uh, honestly that's the income estimator tool in a nutshell um, go into more detail about this and if you guys want more videos or uh, have any questions you could please email me at david at the trade study .com. I'll be glad to help you out um, this is just a general example there are high dividend yield strategies that you can utilize as well with this to generate a higher return um, the idea here is to get started get this nest built and it will definitely reap rewards in the long run uh, five years ten years so far on guys thank you for watching this video I appreciate it if you like it throw me a like if you want more content to be you know uh, alerted to you once we have it available hit the subscribe button thanks